This is the current bed I have. It's a queen size uh, bed. I'm gonna have to change it out for a king bed now since I have the purple king bed. All right, so I have my boards cut to size for the headboard. Uh, basically the two, two legs and the top. The uh, issue is is that they're rounded on the two by fours and I want them to be flat and square. So I'm gonna take a quarter inch off both sides with the table saw here uh, to make them look more like uh, just real wood and not two by fours. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll have the outer frame for uh, the headboard. All right, so we have all the boards cut. Uh, I had to do some calculations to make it the right width, but this one is the two by four with the quarter inch off each side. This is 78 inches. And this is 71 and a half inches. This one is 50 and a half inches. And then the top one is 78 and a half inches. So this is basically what the frame will look like once it's all put together. And this will be our base frame. So now I'm gonna take it and drill pocket holes and get everything assembled in this same fashion. Um, all together so when you see it again it'll be all put together all right so we have everything together i went ahead and added some supports in the middle here uh, just, i felt like it just wasn't enough support structure so everything's all nailed or screwed glued together so next step is to cut the pattern out that's going to be put uh, on the headboard here so uh, we'll do that next all right so i just uh, rip this piece here on the bottom and nail gun it to the piece so that it's flush with this so that we have a, a full frame and then I just took a shorter piece and cut this at a 45 degree angle to start the process and then also mark the center line of this whole thing right down the center and so once I cut the 45 degree of this piece then I just line it up with the center line and I use this triangle to um, get the 45 degree angle that I need to cut on the saw. So then I'm just gonna continue to work my way up the middle as I fit a piece, I mark the center, fit a piece, mark the center until I have uh, most of it filled up. All right, so I got the first three boards here cut. And what's important is that you keep the pressure on this whenever you're measuring, that way you know when you put it all together, it's gonna be straight. So now I just go and I find a board that will be long enough, and these for sure will be long enough, they might be too long. So you just find a couple boards that are long enough, try to find another one, there's a shorter one. Looks like that's all the shorter ones, so these two. So first thing I'll do is I'll just come over here, I'll just cut one of them at a 45 degree angle. Then see which side is the smoothest for the for the stain. So put it up against the edge. I'm gonna keep this really tight. Bring it in. And that's really tight. I mark the mark the line. And the angle. Then I take it, get the square here, line it up with the angle, mark a line that I need to cut, and I'll come and cut the angle at 45 again. Keeping that tight, bring in this one.
Yeah, this one's gonna be too short. <laughs> Alright, so what's odd is it was too short for this side, but then I brought it over here and it's like perfect. So rather than scrap this piece, I'll just use that piece for that side. And we'll try again on this side. Try this again on this side. Hopefully, it won't be too short this time. Basically, you just keep doing that process all the way until you're done with the whole thing. All right, so we got most about halfway done now. And what I noticed as I'm doing it is, is what's important is that you keep on the center line and keep every keep everything pulled forward, even if it causes a gap back here. And because this is going to be framed anyway, so it'll cover all of that. All right, so now we're going to change direction. So we come up here, and now we have to kind of do some different directions. We're still gonna keep 45 degree angles. We're just gonna flip flip the way in which we do it. So now instead of the 45 degree angle being on this side, it's gonna be on this side. And then this one, we're gonna to have to cut two 45 degree angles to finish this and that. But it's really not that critical because it's gonna be mostly covered here with the trim. But I figured out also to get the right angle on the side I want that I know I wanna come this way, so I'll just make a mark on this board. That way I know the angle's that way. So they're kind of struggling on which way to put the angle. perfectly straight but this should be not a huge deal since we're kind of going for that look anyway a little bit like weathered look so what I'll do is I'll bring this in see how it's flush against this side now but we don't we don't we have to take care of this gap here so I'll bring it up and match it to this
right? So this board is a little bit warped. Makes it a little harder to, to do. But basically, you now I need to come and basically chop it up right about there. Like I said, this will be framed, so it's not so critical that we get that per perfect corner. What's more important is that we get this line straight up top. So it's getting a little challenging to get this on here since I have to basically lay on the whole thing to mark my mark, but I'm just eyeing it. I try to get down to eye level, keep it really tight and get down to eye level and just eye the, the line. And then I try to go a little longer just in case I didn't eye it right. I can always cut off, I can always cut off a little more. And then when I make my mark, I always put my pencil down on the mark and then I move the, the ruler to it so I know I have the right distance. this down here but just getting this perfect it's about as perfect as it can get so now we'll continue this way all the way up and we'll just have the, the um, 45 degree angle now on this side until we get near the end here and I'll record some more so just continue to work our way keeping the center line as perfect as possible We got all the cuts done, everything is ready to go. Uh, it took me a total of 23 uh, one by fours by eight. Um, so that's to build the whole thing, including the, the frame, three two by fours. And then I got these uh, one by twos. They're gonna be going around the outside to frame it in. And uh, the next step, is to stain it. So we got a bunch of different types of stain. We got uh, all by Vera thing. We got aged wheat, sun bleached, worn navy, ebony, weathered gray, and dark walnut. So I'm gonna start staining all the planks and then I'm gonna stain the ones right next to each other uh, that, that go along with each other, the same color. And then what I do so I don't have to remember where they go is on underneath them I will write number one right, number one left, and then we'll do that all the way up, number two, number three, number four, all the way up, then when I come back to put them back in, I can just put them in real quick. So next I'm gonna start staining, and we'll check in after we get these stained up. All right, so I went ahead and laid them all out. I've got all the different colors ready. I also wrote on the back this, the uh, the side and what color it gets that way I can hit them all at the same time So I just wipe the stain on the wood let it sit for 15 minutes then wipe it off with a uh, Clean towel and they're good to go Show you those when they're done All right, so we're gonna stain with this uh, dark walnut show you how to do it. It's pretty simple 
How I do it is I just put my thumb like this and dip it in. And then I just rub the, the wood like I'm scrubbing it. I rub back and forth along the grain, making sure I rub it into the grain. Usually I go over it a few times, make sure it's in there really good. And then just let it sit. Let it sit for like 15 minutes. If you don't like the color, you want it darker, you can always stain it a second time. But normally I just do it one time. So that's pretty much it. You just do that to all the pieces, let them sit for 15 minutes, and then you'll wipe them clean. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna wipe off the dark walnut stain. And so I just get a clean towel and I just rub it pretty hard to get all of the excess stain off. And the more you rub, the more you can expose the grain. So I usually rub it pretty good so that you can see the grain much better. So you can tell the difference between them. Once you start to wipe them off, the grain starts to show up. So with these stains, it says you need to wait at least eight hours. Um, so once I get done wiping all these off, we'll wait till tomorrow to finish the rest of the project. All right, so got the headboard sanded, ready to go. All the boards stained, ready to go. So next step is to put, is to stain the frame with this light walnut here. So I'm gonna stain the frame that's visible. So these, this part of the top uh, with light walnut. And then once that uh, dries, I'll start applying the planks to the middle. All right. All right, so I've got the coat of light walnut on the bed frame. And now we're gonna start to put together the, um, slats on here. I got an uh, 18 gauge nail gun and I'm just going to use wood glue and the nail gun to start to attach all of these planks on here. Alright, so now we're going to start to put these together. Apply a little bit of glue to the back. Actually, then we're going to apply a glue here so I don't have it where I don't need it. First couple, I'm going to put three nails in. Try not to use too much glue because you don't want it seeping up between the boards. Just use enough to give it a little bit. I can make sure my nails aren't nailing all the way through. They yeah, were good. And so just continue in that same way the whole thing. Trying to use as little nails as possible. On some of these I had to put extra nails so far because they're coming up a little bit. So all right, just putting the last few pieces in here. 
I had to modify some in the middle. I got, I must have got off position a little bit, so I had to cut several of them. These are really tight actually, which is good because then they won't uh, move around. So we'll put the last few in, kind of like putting a puzzle together. And then uh, put the final nails in it. trim pieces and we'll cut it to size and place it on here frame the thing, whole thing and nail gun that down and then I'll stain these so I'll probably have to tape it off to stain it I'll stain these pieces the same color as this and then uh, polyurethane the whole thing so that's what's left all right so we're done putting the frame on and ready to put the polyurethane on I'm going to use this triple thick polyurethane uh, with a matte uh, finish. I'll probably put maybe max three coats. It doesn't need too much, just enough to protect it. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so I got these lights off of Amazon. So um, kind of like a cage light. I was gonna put them on the top corner of the bed frame so basically I'll just put it up there like this right out of the box and mark the two holes uh, so you can see I've already marked the, the two holes here now I'm just going to drill through them to attach it to the other side and then uh, I'm going to wire it up so I'm going to put one on both sides of the bed frame here all right we are all done with the bed I um, also built some end tables. Let me get the light on here. Built some end tables to go with the bed. So you can see those, they have pull out drawers. So, bed is all finished. Yep, so that is it. So, see you at the next video.